This is Daisy, and I'm Marie. We are in Westerly, Rhode Island, on the Pocketuck River. We've just left Potter Hill in Westerly, and we're going to take out at the bridge for Route 78. We're just under the bridge. A friend of mine told me she wouldn't be comfortable letting her dog off leash in unfamiliar places, like I do. And I totally understand that. That makes sense. You wouldn't want something to happen to your dog and have them disappear or get hurt. And you have more control of the situation with a leash. So I thought I'd go back and how did I get started with letting my dog off leash? And I am quite comfortable with what we're doing here. When I was a little girl, some people on my street moved out and left a dog tied to the house. I don't remember the details, but this beautiful dog followed me home and Dad said we could keep the dog. This wonderful dog stayed with me. We walked in the woods, I rode my pony, I rode my bicycle, and she came with me everywhere I went. I don't remember her having a collar. I used to just hold her and hug her. Sometimes she had a flea collar and I'm pretty sure we never had a tag on the dog. Like I said, in a lot of pictures I have of her, I'm just holding the dog and uh, with my arms around her neck. This is Daisy. When I first got her in Utah, I found a fenced-in area and I was letting her loose to explore, to be a puppy, and let me take pictures of my brand new puppy. She's so pretty, so cute. I'm letting my dog be a dog. She was hardly bigger than a basketball. She didn't know her name. Yeah, we needed something like that on the lens, didn't we? She didn't know any commands, I'm sure of it. Now, she's at the edge of my comfort zone because there is an opening to that gate into the parking lot. I didn't know that hole was there, but since she didn't seem to go through it, I wasn't worried by it. There we go. I'm so upset. She got through. I... It's almost the worst thing that could happen. Again, she doesn't know her name. She does have a little key ring on her with my phone number on it, but that's it. That's a golf course. The fence is 20 feet tall. I wasn't going to go over the tall fence. And the front of the golf course is several miles away to go in through the front gate with a car. So I ran down, held open that opening, and called my dog. And <gasps> no! I did get my puppy back. Whenever I work with my animals, I like to end on a positive note. I didn't want to just scold her when she came back to me and stuff her in the car and leave. I wanted her to know we're okay and we could still enjoy the grass for a little while longer. And I've Not much for posing for a camera, are you, Daisy? Daisy? Here we are in the woods. There is no fence. We're on the Pony Express Trail somewhere in Utah. I couldn't tell you exactly where it is. Just a long way from anywhere. Again, you can see there's just a key ring for a, a tag. I haven't gotten a tag for her yet. letting my puppy be a puppy. You're about to see where my comfort zone ends. I don't want her in those woods.
How far are you going to go, pup? That was all I needed to do to have her come back to me. She seemed to understand. When I got Daisy home to New England, the first thing I did was I introduced her to my horse, Jigs, and the horse to Daisy. Because I wanted the dog to ride, come with me on rides. And we did. I love to go out in the woods and the trails. And here's my puppy, leading the way on the trail. And we follow with the horse. That's what I want my dog to do. And going out in the kayak isn't any different, really. It's just a water trail. Here's Daisy on the top of a trailer load of hay. She doesn't have a leash on. I'm driving the tractor. And there's my brother. He's throwing hay up onto the trailer. When your dog doesn't need a leash and you're comfortable, they can do all sorts of fun things like running across that log. Because I certainly don't want to hold a leash and run across it behind it. As you see, we have lots of fun together. Ah, uh, here we are again on the pocket duck. And I'm going to pick up Daisy. Or, well, I thought I was going to pick up Daisy. And I really do see how this could make someone nervous that the dog is running away from me and not coming back. But I believe that's David up there in his boat. So she just wants to keep track of her humans. It's a Border Collie's job to keep us all together. And there we go. She's in the boat. I hope this inspires you to practice in a safe place, like a dog park that is closed in, and practice with your dog off leash and have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.